Good evening. This is Tina. How are you doing today? Mm -hmm. um, this video, I'm going to give a brief introduction on HTTPS uh, because it's very important to secure our network. Okay. And especially if we have the authentication and uh, if without a secure communication, then other guy, other people probably can f uh, get our username password over the network, right? And uh, later on, I will teach you how to using Node.js to create a, an HTTP a web application. But uh, eventually, if we deploy our application to a uh, web server, most likely uh, to, to not to web server, to the cloud, most likely um, the cl cloud provider will already give you the HTTP fun HTTPS functionality. You don't need to do in your code. So first, uh, let's take a look at what is HTTP and uh, HTTPS. What's the difference between them? Suppose here is okay. Here is our client, which is a laptop, right? Okay, this is client, and here is our server. Oh, sorry. Here is our server. Now I want to have a communication between the client and the server, right? And here, suppose I give a username. Equals Tina and the password is uh, one, two, three. And here we'll give you welcome greeting message, welcome uh, HTML back, okay, HTML content back. And uh, this is a communication using HTTP. So whatever you fill in the form, gonna be the plain text sending over the network. So if someone knows some tools, uh, later, long time ago, I we when I took a network course, there's a one tool called a wild shark or something, which it can even draw the data sent over the network. So in this case, if someone is standing here, he can get your username and a password. Then he can do some malicious thing and the login or impersonate like it's you, okay? So what is HTTPS? HTTPS still here have a laptop and here have a server. Mm. Here has our server. And uh, 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 sorry, I want to, <laughs> this is so ugly. Okay, let me redraw. I can understand for that. You, 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 delete, okay, mm, like this, I can draw a little bit better, this is the keyboard, suppose uh, on, in the browser, I fill in the form, okay, this is a uh, uh, name, okay, pa and then here has a password, right, and here has a login button, now for the name, and uh, uh, password I still using Tina one two three and then I I send I click the login it's gonna send a request to the server right so what's gonna be here it's gonna be some some it's gonna be something like this nonsense okay how can I make something nonsense it's gonna be something something like this a b uh, one two y z um, m and what's gonna be sent over? It's gonna be A B E uh, two uh, five uh, M N like this, which is uh, encrypted. Okay, so if someone stand in here, and uh, once they get this one, they cannot decrypt. Okay, this message, and all they have to using 
very very huge machine and take a long 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 time to decrypt the message which is useless probably after one month you already after one day you change your password right so this is HTTPS HTTPS means HTTP plus SS, uh, SSL uh, if I remember correctly, it's part of the uh, network, okay? And uh, uh, for then, now I want to talk a little bit about how to encrypt the message. There are two ways. This is our sender. This is our receiver. Uh, there is one way called the cement semantic cryptography okay and suppose here we have some message want to send over to the receiver how to encrypt this message and we have something called a secret key they're gonna use a secret key to encrypt this one and on the receiver side okay here gonna using the same secret key to decrypt this message to decrypt this message then to get this one and both of the secret key on the sender side and on the receiver side are the same the same that's why it's called a semantic because they are exactly the same okay and there's another one this one is also not good because to use on the HTTPS the the problem is when in this case first all the client should you should know the secret key so how can the receiver share the secret key initially with all the clients it doesn't we, we don't know if it's the uh if it's the malicious user or not right uh, how can we share with everyone so semantic cryptography at the uh for the initialize the what's the thing uh the talking between connection between the uh client server is uh, not good impossible to do or not good the other if we if you say for different client we use different secret key it still has uh, uh it's still risky because the first time we talk with the client to get the secret key the client talk with the server to get the secret key needed to be shared over http right so now so if uh, the the client and a server want to establish the https first they have to get the secret key first right so to get a secret key to get the, to share the secret key from between the client and server the first step they have to using https when they use https if someone stand in the middle then they can get the secret key so it's still not uh, secure so uh, uh, later some like uh, great uh, great like uh, math or someone they invent another crypt cryptography called a public key cryptography okay all called a a semantic uh, a, a semantic key what it is so we still have i think i should move a little bit up because here we have my my face there right here we still have a sender and here we still have our receiver and uh, the the thing is uh, between them okay when they when they want to send this message to here the sender we are using public key to encrypt and for the receiver it will have one key called a private key the the public key and the private key they are different 
okay and uh, private key only can be uh, only known by the receiver and uh, to decrypt this message from the sender uh, encrypted using public key can only use the private key only the private key can decrypt this message okay so they are different and a public key yes uh, everyone can get a public key but uh, no one knows the private key only the receiver knows the private key and that means only the receiver can know the exact message from different uh, sender and uh, one drawback of this one is uh, public key uh, cryptography is much slower than the semantic uh, cryptography okay because it has need more computation don't ask me why it need more i also don't know i obviously i think it need more computation on decryption okay so the last content of uh, uh, this video is talking about how the https do the handshake so here uh, we have our client and uh, here we have our server oh should i do now i probably using another or not should this using another video okay let's do now okay so first the client make a request to the server say okay server i want to start a secure session okay and uh, here is my uh, here is the ssl version uh, i want to use okay version i want to use here is my cipher suit i want to use cipher suit you can uh, you can think about a fixed collection of the cipher unit components it can be used okay based on between uh, for different client and server it's gonna be much faster when we do the uh, uh encryption those things and then the server say server will receive the message and send it back okay 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 i i got this uh, cipher uh i got this uh, i have this uh, cipher suit okay the one uh, he will choose the one from this cipher suit okay i i have this one i also have this i can also use it, this sl version and then here is my certificate okay and here is my public key and the client will get okay uh, what he's gonna doing he's gonna verify the certificate is not expired is valid and from like uh, a certificate association uh, they are, have some organization organize those okay your browser will do that and then after verify okay he will gonna using a public key okay to encrypt something called a pre-master key okay and uh, the public key is this public key using a pre-master key this pre-master key is also used to generate the shared private uh, shared secure uh, uh, is used to generate the shared uh which is secret key is unit just secret key because for ssl the first connection the first several connection it's gonna uh, get the public key and uh, to generate the shared the private uh, shared secret key because using public key cryptography is uh, uh, slow so after the shared key is secure on both sides they're gonna using shared key which is semantic cryptography to do the communication so we are on this step okay encrypt the uh, pre-master key and send it to the server the server gonna do what the server gonna <coughs> oh yeah the server gonna using the uh use the private key to decrypt to decrypt the uh, pre-master key okay and uh, then 
after this, after they get this pre master key and the pre master key, on the on the client, they on the client there it has a uh, pre master key, right? So. It, both sides, the client side and the server side. Now we are use the pre master key to generate shared. Uh, what's the secret key? And uh, on this side, the client and on the server side also can generate. Okay once they uh, get the pre master key and after that if you want to do the communication then the client will using this shared okay which is a shared secret key to encrypt to encrypt the message and then what does server side do? Server side, we are also using the shared secret key to decrypt the message and then provide response. Okay. So after that, they will communication like this. So at the beginning, the client and the server, which actually we are using the a, a, a public key, cryptography, to secure the communication. Cation, okay. And after that, after after that, they're gonna using they're gonna using semantic cryptography. The reason behind that is public key cryptography is uh, very slow. So after we have a uh, after they have a. Uh, Shared secure key, which is a communicated secure, which is secured, being on client and the server. So they are sure this key is a secure. Then they can use this key as the uh, secret key to encrypt the message because no one will know this one. Okay. So uh, this is uh, how the HTTPS work from uh, between the client and the server. And uh, uh, for the next video, I'm going to show you how to generate the certificate and the private key and how to use them to create a uh, HTTPS server. Okay. Thank you for watching this video and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.